Romeo and Juliet is a is a story is a love story, obviously, but it's a story about being yourself. Hey, it's Kristen, and here's an interview I did with Sonique Saunderson, who stars in Romeo and Juliet, which just premiered at Sundance Film Festival. You were such a standout as Mercutio in this. I loved you so much. What was it like, you know, playing this role? Uh, thank you so much. First of all, just I really appreciate you know the support. Um, yeah, I mean, Mercutio was just, you know, as fun as it seemed, you know, watching to play, you know what I'm saying? He just is really such a wild and exciting character that kind of just, you know, follows his own rules and and and, and lives his life in so, with such um, confidence um, that I think he really, really, you know, yeah, that just contributes to his like wild nature and his his you know playfulness through, through it all. Romeo and Juliet is one of Shakespeare's most well known plays. This is a project that really gives the story a modern social media update, but still stays true to those like Shakespearean roots. So, what was it like balancing those aspects? Starting out when I first started working on the project, um, I, I had had some previous knowledge of the of the script and had played some roles in this you know play before, so I was very familiar with the story, and I think that like knowing the story so well is what allowed me the freedom to kind of break out and use some more you know modern language and, and modern spin on things because i knew what they were saying in the original text um and also as far as the social media aspect of it all i think it just like gives the movie a you know fresh feel you know this story that everybody knows such a fresh feel and such a modern feel um because it is so relevant in how we communicate and how we express ourselves in this you know, age of social media. What I love about this um, film is that it's really focused on actors of color in this space, which is something that like, I don't think we always necessarily get to see. Um, so were you able to bring any of your own experiences into your performance? Oh yeah, absolutely. Just between like the ad-libbing of lines and stuff like that and, and some of the references that makes and you know mercutio makes and some of the dances that he does it's definitely a lot of it is pulled from black culture and relevant black culture right now along with being black i'm also puerto rican so there was you know parts of that i play you puerto rican too yeah <laughs> so yeah so like you know being able to play with juliet and the capulets family um in that way was also you know I, that's something i can bring to it you know and and um, yeah, I think the representation is super important in this Romeo and Juliet, you know, like the Baz Luhrmann version, there was a black Mercutio and he killed it, you know, so I, I definitely had some big shoes to fill in that way and they definitely, you know, played with kind of sprinkling, you know, people of color throughout their movie, but this movie is very specific, like we did it for a specific reason and told a specific story, and I'm really proud of that. What was your favorite scene to film? Honestly, the fight sequence was really fun. It was really, really fun. Um, you know, Diego and I had great chemistry on set and, you know, we were able to work together to choreograph this fight sequence. And, and then, you know, once it started and we had all the extras with their cameras filming for social media and stuff like that, it really kind of like came to life. Um, and then, yeah, the, the, the plague on both your houses is such a classic and iconic monologue, you know, and um, in our version, it's definitely an abridged version. It's just way shorter. Um, but you still, I still had to kind of rev up to get into it. And with the, the whole social media aspect and the, you know, the phone, me FaceTiming and then the phone falling down and then having to do that scene kind of over the camera while I'm bleeding out. It was, it was, it was really fun. It was a, a recipe for, you know, some madness. <laughs> and was that actually filmed on a phone? Uh, no. So the entire movie, it, although it looked like it was filmed on a phone, was filmed on actual film cameras. We just had different like knobs and things on the camera that we had to hold on to to make it seem like, you know, we're like shooting a selfie or something like that. So that was also really interesting, kind of like suspending that disbelief as an actor that not only is the like, because most of the time as an actor on film, you are ignoring the camera. So you're suspending your disbelief. But this for this particular film, we had to like really be aware of the camera and how we were using it and what our frames were, you know, what our frame were and things like that. So it's really, really cool. What do you hope that people take away from Romeo and Juliet? Be yourself. And that sounds like really corny and uh, <laughs> cheesy, but like seriously, I mean, I think Romeo and Juliet is a, is a story, is a love story, obviously, but it's a story about being yourself. And the, you know, sometimes 
being your full self, you will get kind of people or, or, or communities that are pushing up against that for whatever reason. In this case, it's the feud between the families that's preventing them from having their love. But in you know our version, they, they have that love and they get to share that love with each other. And I think that that's really beautiful. All the characters are really just kind of so themselves and so in themselves. And sometimes that gets you know, dangerous because they get worked up and wrapped up into their ego and that kind of leads them to do things that are, you know, that just have bad endings. But um, I think for the most part, you know, if you just continue to be yourself and, and leave, leave room for love, like you never know what happens. If you guys like this one, you can check out more of my Sundance Film Festival coverage right here and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.